Hey guys, welcome to another video with me, the Stonk Dad. I know it's been a minute since you've seen me. I'm sorry about that. We've had a couple hiccups in the market data that I go over, and I talk about that all the time in my videos. So um, there's been an issue with uh, a couple features that I use on the uh, Trady Takes platform, and they have not fixed that yet. So we're gonna have to get through this um, in a different way than I usually do on these Sunday videos but we'll get through it and hopefully it all goes well. Um, but the title of this video is gonna be $200 a day using this strategy. Uh, I'm gonna be going over last week's data and how I utilize that to be able to get that $200 a day. So sit back, relax, hopefully you enjoy this video. All right guys, so this is the Market NetFlow dashboard platform. Um, all you guys see right here is the Friday data. Now, usually on these videos, I usually go through uh, Monday through Friday of last week, and then I uh, back test the convergence and see how well it performed relative to SPY. So if uh, in this case, if we see call flow going up with this, the green bars here, the green lines, and then we see a green convergence flip down here at the bottom, um, we can consider that the market is going to be going up, and that would be a solid trade to take. So... Uh, TradingTix doesn't, like I said before, TradingTix doesn't have the feature of the calendar feature up here in the right hand corner like they usually do. They do need to fix that, um, but we're going to be doing it a different way. Hopefully it doesn't confuse you guys too much, but um, usually what I do during the entire course of the week is I post my analysis and my opinions on the data once it comes out, um, market net flow, GEX convergence and all that. Um, with mixing in a couple other things as well, of course. Um, but I have those screenshots from previous days in the week. Usually it's much easier. I can just go up here and back test using uh, previous data, but they don't have that anymore, um, which is unfortunate. So hopefully they get that fixed soon. So we're gonna be doing it this way, guys. Um, I have screenshots from previous, previous weeks. Um, and I pretty much did all of the analysis already, what I usually do. I mean, it might be a little bit fuzzy because it is a screenshot. Um, so bear with me, okay? So this is Monday's data. You can see that we were relatively uh, bearish for the most part. Puts were at zero about halfway through the day um, for most of the day up until close. Um, so pretty, there were only two really good trades to take that day. And that was when uh, puts were well above the zero uh, net premiums. And uh, that was only in the morning and then in the afternoon. So you can see that this one was a very, very good win right there. Um, a very good job from about 10 or 51050 all the way down to 509 ish level. So that's about a dollar fifty move to the downside. And then we had some chop. This was a red convergence play. Obviously, you could see that that one did go down about 50 cents. I did make an X there just because it only lasted a couple minutes. Uh, but nonetheless, if you would have stayed in that a little bit longer, you would have been. Uh, Pretty green on that trade. This one was going to be a loss because it did flip red uh, and we did trend up until we flipped gray. Um, so we're going to count that one as a loss. This one right here, um, it's too hard to tell really. So I'm just going to count that one as a wash trade. Um, it did look like just by uh, looking at my eyes here, it did look like it did come down slightly. Um, but nonetheless, we'll just count that one as a wash trade and then this one as well. Actually, this one looks like it was a little bit better because it looks like it started um, about there and that was um, roughly around that area. So we will count that one as a win. And then this one would be a loss because it looks like it did flip red um, and we were trending up at the time. And then this one was a clear win there, okay? So that's what I do um, every single week in the data. It's gonna be harder because uh, I don't have the back test capabilities. Um, so we're just gonna have to do this from my previous screenshots, which is okay. Uh, and we'll just eyeball it from there, okay? So it looks like we had four wins and two losses. So we went four for six. And then I'm gonna screenshot these and then put them right here. So I know what we're talking about there. Okay, so that was Monday. Here is Tuesday. Um, this one was a very, very good trade. You can see that once um, premiums are well above zero and there's a, a big divergence between them, you can catch some really, really nice trades. So that one obviously was a big winner to the upside. And then it looks like there was another one right there. Um, so two wins on the day, two for two. Okay, that was Tuesday. Let's take a look at Wednesday. 
Now Wednesday, it was, I think Wednesday and Thursday, we did get quite a lot of red convergence flips. Um, so we'll have to pay attention to those here. So this one was one here. You can see that we went down about 30, 30 to 50 cents there um, when that flipped. So I will have to count that one as a win. Um, it looks like this one right here, it did flip for a brief amount of time and we did get a sell off there. Um, but it's too small for me to even consider that to be a win. This one here was a little bit bigger. Um, you can clearly see that that was a nice downtrend there from about 516 uh, to about 5, 516.50 to about 516 or so. Um, and then right here, that one was going to be a loss there. And then here as well, probably going to be a small loss there. Um, and then that one's going to be a wash trade because it did trend down, but it did get a little choppy up until right here. We got two really good wins there. That one was a smaller one. Um, and then right after that, almost you, you caught the downside move. Look at the sell off there. <laughs> Pretty crazy. So obviously these two little losses were made up by later on in the day from this one and then this one as well. So it looks like one, two, three, four. So that one went four for six as well. Same thing as Monday. Okay, so that was Wednesday. Thursday was a little bit rough. Pretty much the same thing, lots of flips, um, lots of red flips to the downside. Um, it was pretty choppy for most of the day up until close there. So it looks like this one, did. it probably caught about half of that move to the downside there, that one. So we will count that one. Uh, wash trade there. This one, pr a little choppy there. So you can see that it looks like it caught about halfway to the move down there. And it went down, but then chopped back up and then flipped gray around that level um, before flipping red again. So we probably will count that one or um, just watch that trade. And then uh, this one was a clear win there to the downside. And then this one too, right there. Um, and then gray convergence obviously did very good on the move back up there. Okay, so that one went three for three. Excellent. And then Friday. Okay, so this one was a little bit rough. Um, flow got really messy about halfway through the day, but it was bullish um, up until about uh, lunchtime there. So it did catch a really, really nice green convergence move um, in the morning, and then it looks like it did flip for a brief moment there, but we were turning down. So we will count that one as a loss, that brief little uh, green convergence flip there. And then it got really, really messy. Now we can't even count any of these because they're so small, but it did look like it flipped green um, a couple times there. Um, but those will definitely be wash trades just because of how close premium was uh, for the most part there. Um, but you could see that we got a nice breakout of calls and we did get a small break to the upside on this green convergence play here. So we will count that one as a win. And then it was a great convergence for the rest of the day there. Okay, so it looks like we did two for three on Friday. Okay, that was the whole week, guys. Um, this is what I do every single week. Um, I go over the data and we uh, back test this awesome tool, the convergence tool. I look at this almost religiously all day during the day. And I do not get into a trade unless there's confirmation um, with EMAs, um, market net flow, and then the convergence tool as well. And then an added plus if we throw in GEX there. If you don't know anything that I'm talking about, I have plenty of other videos in the past going over all of that. So um, feel free to look through my channel. My most popular videos are the ones that you're probably looking for. Um, but let's do a tally of how well this tool did over the past week, okay? So we had six, eight, 14, 17, 20 trades, and we had five, nine, 11, 15. So it went 15 for 20, not the worst, um, but definitely not the best either. I think that's about a 70% win rate, 15 divided by 20. Yeah, 75% win rate. Um, so definitely up there, it did very, very well. Uh, and I was able to um, make at least $200 a day last week, if not more, which is amazing. I was consistent in my trades and I didn't uh, let the um, let the, the bad trades affect me. There were a couple of them, but for the most part, I did very, very well. Um, so yeah, guys, that, that was the video, the back test video of Convergence. Let me know what you guys think down below of this tool. Um, 
if you guys want more videos of this, um, just let me know. I can definitely do a couple new ones. I know a lot of my videos are a little bit older, so I can provide some updates and stuff on uh, things that go on in the market data industry. Okay, guys. So I will see you guys in the next one.